Hi there, my name's Chris Butler. I'm the Divisional Process Development Manager for Essential Components. And in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the most common faults within the injection molding process. So on the board behind me, you can see four of the most common faults within injection molding. These occur if we don't get our process correct, if our tooling design isn't correct, and we haven't chose the correct material. So let's take a look at some of the most common faults. The first one we're going to have a quick look at is flash. So flash is when the tool is blown apart on injection, causing a burr of material on the split line. The split line of the tool is extremely important to the design. We have to make sure that we apply enough clamp tonnage while we're injecting the material to make sure we don't force the tool apart and therefore creating unnecessary material to flow into that area, thus creating a flashed part. Also, it's highly critical that we have the correct injection pressures, speeds, mould temperatures and barrel processing temperatures to ensure that we have a stable process to eliminate any flash issues. Let's talk about the next one. So let's take a look at what we call gassing and venting. As the material flows into the tool, into this area, obviously the cavity is empty. We start injecting the molten plastic into the tool. The air has to escape from the tool, and if it doesn't, it causes a problem and we can get some defects on the part. It's really important that we have good tool maintenance, and it's really important that we have the correct venting to let the air escape from it. This problem can also happen if we have moisture in the material, if our injection speeds and pressures are too high. So these are some of the things we have to take into consideration if we see this fault in our parts. So next, let's look at part distortion. Again, this is a very, very common fault, mainly temperature related. If our molten material and our processing temperatures aren't correct, or we have the, have the incorrect tool cooling temperature or the incorrect cooling time, this can all cause part distortion. So then we go on to our last one and we take a look at short mouldings. So short mouldings occur when we've not filled the part correctly. Again, the main reasons for this are temperature related. We need to make sure we have the correct temperatures that the material requires to process and flow correctly into the tool. We also need to make sure we've got the correct holding pressures, injection pressures. It's highly critical. So as you can see, it's really important that a good experienced manufacturer understands the processes, the tooling and the materials to make sure they minimise defects, making sure that they supply good quality products to their customers. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.